a special video today. Um, tomorrow, I've got the privilege of um, doing my first YouTube interview um, of a comic creator, uh, and that is uh, a chap called Gary Spencer Millage. Now, um, I suspect not many of you watching will know Gary, um, and one uh, one introduction I read to him said he's uh, that uh, his main creation, which is um, a series called Strange Haven, is uh, the best comic book you've probably never heard of. Um, it's uh, it's grossly grossly um, uh, ignored, um, and um, it deserves much much higher recognition indeed you know if i sort of uh, look at uh, the sort of series that uh, most comic collectors would have you know you've got to go to alan moore v for vendetta watchmen neil gaiman uh, sandman uh, mouse by alex spiegelman um, god's country uh, will eisner um, you know, there's, there's certain essential things that as a comic collector you're going to want to have. And I have to say, uh, now, one of the most treasured collections I have is my collection of Strange Haven. And it's got a bit of history with me. So I, I, um, I actually picked up the first two issues of Strange Haven when I attended uh, the UK Comic Art Convention way back in 1995. And back then, I went to the convention, and uh, Gary Millage was there, and he got his first two editions of Strange Haven out. Now, this at the time, you know, Gary um, does all the artwork, he does the story, um, he gets the whole thing published, so it's all self-published. Anyway, he had his first two editions, um, and I went to his desk, and um, here's my copy of um, Strange Haven number one. Um, and inside of this, um, we have, you can see there, it's uh, Gary Spencer Millage, UK Comic Art Convention, 95. He's dated it uh, 30th of the 9th, 95. Um, so that's tremendous and um, I also have um, issue two from the same time time frame. Um, here we go. Lovely cover. Um, and again, signed by signed by Gary. Okay, so I um I li I really like the Strange Haven story. It's uh, very unique. Um, I would say, and many people, uh, Twin Peaks is the first thing that comes to mind because there's lots of quaint characters, unusual characters in a little isolated village. I would say probably we uh, we combine that, um, and it, but it's quintessentially English, it's not American. So I would say Twin Peaks, The Archers, and probably something like uh, Miss Marple. Um, because there's mystery and intrigue and uh, during the course of this there's murders to solve. I don't want to give the plot away. Um, it, it's, a, it, it's not about a single character. One of the great things about it is it's actually about a whole host of uh, characters um, who live in this village called Strange Haven um, and none of them seem to be able to get away from it. Uh, they don't seem to want to get away from it, uh, but occasionally when somebody tries, uh, such as one of the uh, protagonists called Alex Hunter tries, um, he ends up back in the village again. Um, so another another sort of television series it's been uh, it's been linked to is the Prisoner, um, where of course uh, the prisoner is captured in a in a in a Welsh village. So. Um, one of the other really nice things about this, so I bought those two back in 95. Um, because this was self-published um, and the amount of work involved in doing self-publishing, doing it all yourself, 
uh, not only that, but the financial um, risk of doing this. Um, the, you know, uh, Strange Haven itself, as a, as a comic, runs for 18 issues, okay? But those 18 issues took 10 years for Gary to produce. So that's about 1.8 issues a year. And sometimes there was a year's gap between the issues. Um, the great thing now, of course, is they're all out there. So I, as I said, I got the first two. Um, I comic, was comic collecting up until the birth of my first children stopped buying. So I, I picked up, I think I got issue three um, and issue four. Um, I got issue three and issue four. Um, and I think a couple of others uh, before I stopped comic collecting. And then all my comics went up into the attic, as did Strange Haven. Anyway, I started being active in comics again about a year ago. And, um, I, you know, I watched the comics news. And one of the things I picked up was uh, my, one of my uh, channels that I watch is Dazzy, Dazzy, the uh, key comic collector. And Dazzy put up one of his uh, alerts. And on that alert, the alert was about Strange Haven. It said it had been commissioned by IDW, uh, optioned by IDW. Those are the people that did uh, the television series Lock and Key. So I thought to myself, I've got that in the attic somewhere. So I went and dug, it, dug them out. And I've just shown you them. And I thought, I really enjoyed this comic when it came out. I wonder if there's any other issues. So I then found uh, Gary's, Gary's website. Um, millage.com which is really good uh, I'm going to show you that in a second um, and so I went onto his website and there um, he sells the uh, apart from two issues I think issue, issue this one I showed you the lingerie issue surprisingly is out of stock and I think one other issue I think it might be issue 13 um, he hasn't got but you can find them on eBay so you can get and they're not expensive you can go to Gary's site and you can buy either 16 issues that he's got and he only I think he's charging something crazy like two pounds 80 and you can get it signed he will sign them for you so uh, here's one I just bought off Gary so I went and bought all the issues that I was missing um, and I bought them in the signed version so uh, let me just show you one of the signed ones. Um, here we go. Yeah, so I just bought this um, and Gary will sign it and he doesn't charge anything for signing it. Um, so, or is uh, the, the um, Strange Haven was de designed, I believe, as a four, as, as four trade paperback. So he wrote them as comics and then he put them together as trade paperbacks. So there are three trade paperbacks covering issues 1 to 18. And again, if you go to Gary's site, you can buy each of the trade paperbacks or he's doing a special deal where you can get all three trade paperbacks, I think for something like £25. So you can get this complete run to read, which I really suggest you do, really suggest you do. Uh, for something like £25 if you like trade paperbacks. I like having the comics. There's only two issues that Gary isn't selling on his website. You can find them on eBay. Um, so, uh, and as I was saying, one of the things that's really great about being able to, you can go and get those 18 issues now. And something that took somebody 10 years to create, you can read through in a couple of days. I've just re I read them all again. So I started with issue one and I just finished issue 18 uh, yesterday. Um, fantastic read. And what's really nice and what's really interesting is to see how the art develops. And so, so the, the art gets much, much better as you go through the years. Um, and the art that Gary is currently doing um, and is did in the final issues is just fantastic. Um, I think the main change occurred in around issue 13 where he changed how he was doing the art. Uh, and for me, it, it did really improve. And Gary's uh, style is um, described as photorealistic. 
he puts a lot of small detail into his artwork which I absolutely adore I think it's really really great um, you know suddenly and, and also in some of the early issues you suddenly get a photo of something like there's a photo of somebody's English breakfast uh, in one of the early issues uh, you know there's a photo of a, of a cake <laughs> there's a photo of an antique shop put in amongst all the uh, all the original artwork uh, and in one uh, in one uh, one of the one of the issues uh, so an artist does a painting of his cottage and of course the uh, that is actually a photo <laughs> of a cottage <laughs> uh, really really nice touch um, so it's really nice to see the progression of the artwork over um, an over over a 10 year period which of course you can do now because it's all out there you don't have to wait a year for each episode to come out because all, all 18 are out there so that took us to 2005 unfortunately then um, for various reasons Gary stopped producing Strange Haven um, I, I'm assuming it's financial reasons um, but anyway, in 2014, a British anthology uh, magazine called Meanwhile, uh, they, 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 they agreed to work with um, Gary to carry on and try and do the, the fourth instalment of Strangehaven so that the arc could be completed. Now, the idea was that would take two years. Unfortunately, the production of Meanwhile has been as sporadic as the original uh, Strange Haven was. However, I believe the latest issue of Meanwhile, which is literally just about to come out, I believe, I think it was crowdfunded, the, like, this latest issue, um, I think contains the final episode of Strange Haven. I might be wrong, but I think it does. So, you, you, you will be able to, if you want to, get the complete arc that has covered nearly 25 years of creation by a single creator. Um, I think it's a, a remarkable body of work requiring huge perseverance uh, in the face of adversity. Now, one of the, uh, one of the other things that uh, I really like about uh, reading through Strange Haven is that at the beginning of each comic, uh, Gary sort of gives us a personal diary of what's been happening to him uh, since the last episode, since he wrote the last comic. So not only have you got the Strange Haven story going on, but, you know, between issues one and 18, you get Gary's story uh, about what he's been up to. Um, let's see if I can show you this. Uh, in one. I'm going to just open up a random one. Um yeah here we go so yeah he does something called um strange maven's diary uh at the start of uh, each comic which tells you about his life you know he's been to he'll tell you about conventions he's been to in the states um people he's met and he's met some really interesting characters um so uh that's really interesting and you can get you, you basically got 10 years of Gary's life in in 18 episodes um another nice thing is uh at the back of each comic there's a letters page um a bio feedback uh, and you can see letters from people uh telling telling Gary what they think about uh Strange Haven and without any exception they they all love it um you know there's there's people in here you look in there and you see the names and you recognize that these are these are uh, people well known in the comics industry so uh, you know strange haven is hugely critically approved um it's been nominated for numerous awards throughout the years including nomination for two eisner awards she didn't win um an interesting one of the people that gary uh, did meet uh, before he died was Will Eisner. Um, so I'm uh, I'm strongly recommending uh, you pick up Strange Haven. 
either go and buy the four, or buy go and buy the three trade paperbacks, um, or my preference, get the single comics. Even better, go to Gary's website, um, and um, go get, go to Gary's website and buy them from Gary and get him to sign them for you. Okay, so um, let me just see if I can link to. Um, Gary's web there we go I think I can link to Gary's website yeah so millage.com let's go to his home page yeah there we go uh, this is Gary's home page uh, official website uh, and there we got the announcement that Strange Haven has been optioned for film and TV by, by IDW Entertainment um, so uh, some lovely looking artwork here you can go to a shop and you can buy the comics or you can get strange haven one i think these are second prints um, all the others this one's sold out um, but you can get virtually all the others i think there's one other sold out uh, you can buy the graphic novels uh, there's the special offer I was talking about. You can get all three Strange Haven graphic novels for twenty four ninety five, and my favourite bit of this is the gallery. Um, there is some magnificent looking. This is one of my favourite covers from the comic series. Um, just fantastic. Um, just the structure of this, the colours, uh, the detail in the bees. Um, absolutely glorious um, uh, the the work that he's currently doing in um, in Strange Haven 1 to 18 the internal art is all black and white um, I forgot to mention actually um, one of the really nice things about Strange Haven is that um, we follow the stories of a number of the characters um, and in I think it's this is this is actually from I think my favorite issue which is issue um, 16, in which we we uh, go back in time to World War II um, and we get a really great story um, about a pilot who uh, fights in World War II, crashes into a village and meets up with his wife and child after 50 years. I know it sounds odd, go and read it. It is tremendous. Um, as is the artwork. That's issue 16 um, of Strange Haven. I think if you're just going to buy one, I, you, know, you want to try out and you want to have a look at Gary's writing and uh, how he does comics, um, I would probably recommend um, issue 16 because there is a there's part of that which is a standalone story. You don't have to have read any of the rest. Um, and look at this. Uh, this is this this is from I uh, more recent stuff you can see it's copyright 2021 um, beautiful artwork here I presume this is one of the meanwhile ones which I haven't got yet um, I am going to be getting the meanwhile uh, anthology in order to get the rest of Strange Haven in its original format so that is a quick run through of um, Strange Haven um, Gary has also done work for other people. Uh, this is some work he did on uh, Sherlock. Um, you can see the quality of the artwork here, it's fantastic. He's also actually done um, work for uh, Bongo Comics. I believe he did um, uh, an episode or story in uh, the Tree House, oh, here we go, Tree House of Horror, where he, um, did a did a did a sort of spoof take on From Hell by Alan Moore, and uh, Gary has also written. I think he wrote a well, he did write a book about Alan Moore. It might be in the shop actually. Um, it was to celebrate Alan Moore's yeah. Cel yes, here it is. It was to celebrate Alan Moore's fiftieth uh, birthday. Uh, it was a charity book. Um, and um, I haven't got this. Um, I'm going to try and I'm going to try. I'm going. I may even buy this off Gary's website if I can. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I um, can't strongly 
recommend uh, the website and Gary enough and I really do suggest you seek out and read Strange Haven by Gary Spencer Millage and and the most exciting news here, guys, is uh, tomorrow I'm going to be lucky enough to do a YouTube interview with Gary. So uh, watch out for that. Enough said. <laughs>